Nice cartoons. If you watched my Nicktoons Network Memories video, I mentioned that Nicktoons Network was my favorite channel to watch growing up. Unfortunately, that station was not at the home, or should I say second home, of my favorite childhood show, Static Jock. I watched the series during its re-airing on Cartoon Network in 2004. After watching one episode at the age of 6, it immediately became my favorite TV show. This was one of the few animated DC superhero shows that originally aired on Kiss of BB, but it later ran on Cartoon Network in hopes of gaining a bigger audience. This worked for another series and was powerful enough for Cartoon Network to do this. I'm going to use this new revival ray to bring this back! But instead of using the proper setting, I'm going to set it to Chatter's Comedy and have it fill up most of my schedule! What do you think, it don't swim? That sounds like a bad idea, but you can do it if you want. Great! Pop Up Girls and Ben 10 are next! But before you do those two shows, may I use the ray gun to bring back Samurai Jack? Sure thing! <laughs> Network, please fix your schedule. Now back to the show. This series follows a teenage boy named Fraser Hawkins who gains electricity powers from a radioactive explosion. He later becomes a superhero named Static and must stop different supervillains who cause chaos in his hometown. Although I was obsessed with this show as a kid, there was an extremely small amount of merchandise released. I can recall there only being a single DVD and a few books. I never bought the DVD, but I had a book that retold the first episode using show frames for illustrations. There was also a Game Boy Advance game that was never released. But the main thing I wanted from the series was a toy line to collect. I wanted this because my older brother developed a hobby for collecting Ninja Turtles action figures. As you might have assumed, that never happened. But in 2015, DC announced an action figure of Static as part of their Icons line. I was extremely excited for this because it was something I wanted for a long time. I did not mind the figure being based on this original comic book incarnation. I just wanted a proper teenage static figure. With that said, let's get to unboxing this thing. Okay, yeah, so it's Wednesday afternoon, I'm recording this. I just finished compiling all the animated videos into one video without the music, but I did add in sound effects where they were needed. And you might hear some things, we'll hear some noises, because there's well, actually people across the street there are packing up the food, and my younger brother's talking to one of his friends. So, due to how long it takes for me to animate, actually, managed to have this thing sitting in my house for a while. I have well, it's been opened up ever since the um, ever since I think like earlier this that was like late August when I had it. So anyway, like this action figure it's like really cool. You can't really it feels just like a regular um Walmart action figure. Uh, with more arms and legs and then for accessories, even though you might have seen the earlier footage they are supposed to have King's Glass accessories, but for some reason they just narrowed it down to just the second head, just the hat, the original head, just the one that I had here. Sorry for all the blurry. Yeah, that well, was like electricity stand that's supposed to be used for this. Well, actually, the sword cap, I usually like call it the hover desk. That's what it feels like, where I like call it in line of the head. It's like the same where you just pretty much put the action figure on the disc and have it up the display because I do tend to buy plastic figures and toys for display purposes. So I can put it right there. And the thing
thing actually does stand quite well. The only problem I tend to have is that sometimes the figure might fall down and things like that, but it's because of just my desk is very unstable because it's connected to wheels. And it kind of causes the desk to be very wobbly. And sometimes I gotta put it back up. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this thing. If you can manage to find this online for about a good price, and you really happen to like this character, like Static, as I do, I would recommend buying it. Yes, I hope you guys actually like and subscribe, and I hope to be back with more videos. And Kyle just really killing me. I'm a